Well, now, Josh, and I begin to think if we just let Shamima back in in the first place, she'd probably have gone again by now. But we, uh... <laughs> uh, Shamima Begum's citizenship removal was unlawful, Court of Appeal told. So this has obviously been going on for uh, quite a while now. But the latest tactic uh, is to say that she was a trafficking victim because it turns out the person who took her across the border yeah. uh, through Turkey they, was a, a Canadian agent or Sort of not it, like, not like a James Bond agent, yeah. more like someone who probably was just like pass, pass, pass some information. Yeah, yeah pass some information. Is it pass. something like statutory rape just because she's too young? Because she was 15. So, she cannot, so they're saying she was a sex trafficker. Well, I can see the point. I mean, I, I am, you know, it's easy to be jocular about this, but I can see the argument that she was too young to make a, uh, a, a, an informed decision and that some, however appalling that decision was, some yeah. latitude could be granted. And also, citizenship is something that shouldn't yeah. be. You know, also, she was a problem made in Britain. Yes. She, was, she was born in Britain. Absolutely. She was created in Britain. So yeah. Britain should should deal with it. Instead of trying to find some easy excuse, like fobbing her off, putting yeah. her in a refugee camp somewhere, we need to face up to the fact that we've got you know these these siloed cultures yes. uh, that that are, are fomenting some pretty horrific views. Well, it has to be said also, fifteen year old girls have been doing extraordinary wacky things. You know, in the last few yes. years, look, joining ISIS begins to look quite traditional. It's just like a, a, well, just a gap year. She's the one who <laughs> she's the one who groomed her friends. She was right. the most extreme of that. And I'm not sure if it was her, but I know definitely one of the parents I remember seeing interviewed at the time going, how did this happen? We've been failed by the local council, we've been failed by the government, by the police, they let it go and all this stuff. And then they found footage of him at a march being like, death to Israel, kill the West and whatever. It's like, mate, come on. He's a, he's a Labour MP.